Hello everybody, this is Ryan again with the Farm to Table Direct Show. Uh, out here to uh, kind of give you all a little update on the uh, uh, space saving garden techniques that we began to implement here uh, at what I like to call the Farm to Table Garden uh, here in my backyard. I want to catch y'all up. Uh, things have been a little slow as far as being able to get out a regular show, but we're we're still busy with the uh, doing the uh, backyard garden thing, the space gardening. Um, things are going well. I'm gonna flip around here in a minute and show you. Um, a lot of things have been going on in the world. A lot of things have been going on in the news lately. Prices are through the roof. Uh, gas prices, food prices, everything. So every little thing we can do to help is an absolute positive. Uh, you know, uh, Keith and Andy did their videos, a couple of them, and I did the last one that showed the garden. and. Uh, we're just going to kind of put this together and catch you up to speed on what's happening. We've uh, Things have been productive here and we've had some significant developments and did some more work today uh, to add a little bit to and it's in progress and I'm going to show you that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to uh, uh, say hi again everybody. It's been a little while. Hopefully this uh, this will inspire you to get out and do a little bit yourself even though it's late in the season. Um, I've seen places out at some of the local stores where there's still... Uh, uh, plants in bath in pots with towers around them where you can get tomatoes you can get things the farmers markets are in full swing uh, starting to see those hopefully we'll get out to them um, and get some footage from out there show you kind of what happens on that level and kind of introduce you to the idea if you don't already know about it and maybe learn some things from the folks that grow there uh, I know that we've been uh, enjoying getting to learn from different people as we've been researching things and uh, so hopefully, folks, you get to enjoy this as much as I have. It's become uh, uh, quite a uh, passion, if you will. It's I mean, really took on its own thing between me and my wife. And uh, I don't know how many of y'all go to church, but I do. And just this week, our our pastor was talking about uh, uh, letting God till your soil. And it talked about rocky soil, and it talked about uh, dry soil and hard packed soil, and and just the different things. And but the, how as a, as a person who clears land or as a person who has to till soil or labors in a garden, labors, we do it. It's hard work and it's hot. Uh, don't know where y'all are from, but over here it's been up in the upper 90s most days this week. But uh, And it's summertime is here. But uh, it's a labor of love because we want the fruits. Uh, we want the beautiful fruits of our labor and we know they're going to come. And uh, that'll be the enjoyment and that'll be... Uh, the fun and the reward of the hard work and uh, so hopefully uh, you know you'll get to see some of that and hopefully you'll take it upon yourself to do this for yourself um, like I said there's a lot of this it's a small space uh, but let me flip this around and show you what's going on all right and here we are back as you can see I've kind of cleaned up a little bit uh, from the last time that I showed you what was going on uh, back there in the background you can see a, I had a limb fall down on a tree and I've got to get that cut up uh, couple other things in the background but that's not important um, what you're gonna see here um, as we come up on the garden I'll catch you up to speed on what's happened um, here is the two newest additions I told y'all I had talked about uh, doing some uh, straight neck squash um, those two plants in that galvanized bucket I showed y'all before um, as you can see the leaves are doing well um, they have really from the starter that they came in to to the last couple of weeks how they've really just kind of stood up and doing really good um, you can see that hay in the background with a few little pieces of potato uh, this here's an old tire that i had laying around there's two layers of potatoes believe it or not in that tire um, tomorrow i'm going to bring in some fence and kind of make a tower like andy was talking about we're going to use the hay for the different layers and i've got more soil to go in that area right there um, we're going to kind of turn over here this is my uh, cucumber plant it's uh it's growing up it's it's doing good the leaves are standing up we got some blooms in there you can see uh it's yet to start producing cucumber but it's uh it's doing well um we're gonna travel on over here this is the tomato plants as you can see we've added some stakes to it uh, we did that today and there's some fresh soil where we added some additional uh soil into the planters um but more importantly we'll get down here as you can see we're beginning to get tomatoes now, as y'all know, this hasn't been very long that we've had uh, these planted. We got them as starters. Um, we can see some of the leaves have kind of gotten a little burnt. Like I said, it's been extremely hot. And any little bit of water on those leaves, they tend to scorch them, but they're doing really well. Now, look at this big boy here. I'm going to come in on him. This is the biggest one by far. 
Um, as you can see, we got the twine on the stakes to help hold them. There's a cluster of some tomatoes. And look at this little cluster here growing in. Uh, and there's some more. I'm gonna get around back here. Y'all getting some up close and personal view. We got some more tomatoes going there. Now, this big flowery beauty right here is a, a straight zucchini squash, uh, zucchini plant. And I'm gonna see if we can tuck in here. Let's see if we can take, there are some zucchinis actually growing. Uh, you can see some blooms starting. Um, we'll get in there. Yeah, a couple of zucchinis uh, in there starting. There's another one that started out, but the sun got a hold of it. Um, I'm gonna, but it's doing great, look forward to its product. Over here is my okra, uh, it's still growing. Uh, it's got a ways to go, uh, but it will do fine. Um, just takes a little while, but it's doing well. It's uh, growing. I had a one break off um, down here. You see that little guy, he broke off, got broke. Well, I just went ahead and stuck him on down in the soil. It's still growing. It's got a leaf coming out and it's starting to take on its own. So I'm getting three plants out of that break. You can see the where it broke off. It's already got a leaf taking its place and it's, uh, it's doing well. So they're a tough, hardy plant. And I'm looking forward to its fruits. Now this beauty right here is the watermelon uh, that we planted. I have got uh, several, one, two, three, about five, maybe six different uh, little small melons that are starting to uh, pop out. Let's see if we can back up here and see one. Um, yeah, there's one, there's a melon uh, that's starting um, and, and there's more. Uh, this is the, and they're doing good and I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be a a real juicy thing all right as you can see uh you know it's getting kind of late in the evening here uh getting ready to wrap it up for the night and i'm gonna get this all into edit so we can get it out to y'all well, you know y'all know what happens but anyway uh just want to thank you for tuning in thanks for watching um hopefully this uh like i said shows you that uh it's easy to be done uh my wife and i are not what we would call green thumbs this is our first uh foray into it as a couple i've grew up doing it with my dad some and uh, then I did a little bit uh, several years ago where I did a raised bed garden with a lot of success there uh, a lot of more work involved there was a lot of a lot of a lot of labor but well worth the rewards and this here is a little less square footage and it's portable have to admit the potatoes and the watermelon probably not going to be so much portability here shortly uh, but uh, main thing is it doesn't take up all of my yard uh, and it's right where we can walk straight out of the house and water and it's just really trying to simplify uh, the process of doing this um, so you know hope to hope that you find this helpful and inspiring um, and look forward to some updates soon um, especially as things begin to grow and blossom we'll we'll do another update and once i've got the tower uh, for the potatoes built um, i did it a little different than andy but once we got it going uh, I'll kind of show you that and we'll we'll do progress reports and keep y'all informed on what's going on and uh, Let y'all come along this journey with us. Uh, but anyway uh, Hopefully uh, myself and Keith will be back together soon to to get a show full of information and interest out to you guys uh, That have been following the farm to table direct show and uh, for those of you that haven't um, You know check us out on YouTube and rumble and uh, of course, our website, the farm to table direct show .com. Um, You can email us at uh, the farm to table direct show at protonmail.com. Um, and of course, Facebook. Check us out there. Uh, the farm to table direct show. That is the farm, the number two table direct show. Uh, for now, I'm Ryan with the farm to table direct show saying, as always, be prepared for the unexpected and keep it local.